No, but I, it's better for... Just send him over. All right, you can unmute it. Hello, Knights and Cubs. This is Zeke Novishin here broadcasting the game. My friend Joe Shea will be broadcasting with me. He's in the bathroom right now. But tonight, uh, homecoming volleyball, we're going to watch the Lick Tigers take on the Convent Cubs, the home favorites, of course. Uh, we, will be, we will see who is starting in a minute or two. Looks like they're doing a little chant. Just a quick plug right now. Uh, tomorrow night, or sorry, tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. at Kizar, homecoming football game. I hope you all attend that as well. Joe, Mike. All righty. We're live. Hello. Alrighty. My name is Joe Shea, and I'm excited to be commentating today. Oh, yeah, we're both seniors at Stuart Hall High School. Let's go, baby. Hello. We're live. I'm live, baby. I'm live. All righty. Looks like the starting six for the Convent Cubs are going to be number eight, Natalie Kushner, number 21, Grace Warner, number 22, Shanna Ong, number 18, Jennifer Sergiati, number 14, Kira Blatberg, and number two, Donnelly Yap. Let's go, Convent. All right, starting six for the uh, Tigers are number 16, Sonia Chun, number 13, Katie Fleming, number 15, Annalise Mangarelli, number four, uh, Kate Warden, number nine, Noelle Wynn, and number, uh, I don't remember who lost, oh, and number five, is that Maya Beta. All right, Tigers are gonna be serving first. It's gonna be Noelle Wynn. Also, a quick shout out, Nicholas. He's uh, doing the camera work. Shout out, Nick. And Bo Darwin, our publicist. And Bo, our publicist, exactly. Alrighty, we're starting. Oh, oh, they're doing speeches. Unexpected. Hey, we're not mad at it though. The Tigers love to get sentimental, you know. Of course, classic. You're allowed to take your call. Mask um, off. Mask off. Future. Um, wait, are they doing speeches or what? All right. Well, there's a little setback right now, but we're excited for a good night of volleyball. Two top dog varsity squads going head to head. It's going to be an exciting night, Joe. What are your thoughts? Initial. You know, Initial I think Conrad's definitely got the upper hand. <laughs> All right, first serve's coming. Home field advantage. All right. Win. Let's see it. All right. Oh, goes over the net to Cummings. I mean, sorry. Excuse me. To Blatberg. Missed bump. Goes out of bounds. First point goes to Lick. It's a great serve. It was all right. Win. Sets a or oh, she served it out of bounds. That's going to tie the game at one. Well out. Very well out of bounds. All righty. Donnelly Yap gonna be the first server for Convent. She has a powerful spike, Joe. That's one thing I've noticed during the warm-ups. Notice it too. Serves oh, up. That's mean. That's bumped by number four, oh. Kate Warden. Bump back over. Oh, set by Yap. Spike by Blatberg is blocked. Nope. Goes over. Number four, Kate Warden, almost bumps it back over, but couldn't get enough on it. Uh, Cubs lead two to one. Another serve from Yap is bumped by a beta, then again by Win, then over. <laughs> oh. So Jody bumped up, but the block by Fleming. Oh, set over! That was sneaky! Grace Warner pretends to spike it, sets it over into no man's land. Cubs lead three to one. The sneaky play is lethal. That's lethal. Yeah, I thought they said 
We're live. We're live. All right. And there goes another another point for Convent. They lead four to one. All right, yeah, with another serve. Over, bumped by a beta, set by Wynn, and spiked by Warden. Cubs rebound, Sirjati with the spike. Number 15, who is that? Mangarelli gets it back over for Wernerding. Oh, good hit by Ong there for the Cubs. Number 16, Chun with a powerful spike, but it got dug out. Oh, great hit. That was a great set right there. Cubs remain on top. Man, tell me if I'm wrong, but Donnelly Yap is catching fire right here. She's catching fire. This is going to be her fifth serve in a row. Bumped up. Again. Spike oh. by Mangarelli is dug out by Yap. Sirjati. Back oh, out. Wow. What a spike. Money. There was not a player in a three feet radius of where that ball hit. They saw that ball coming and thought, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> that was amazing. Donnelly Yap has caught fire officially. Six serve in a row here. They're up six to one. Call the fire department. <laughs> Oh, dug out by Chun. Oh, tipped over by number four, Warden. Good dig by Ong there for a Great spike. Number nine, uh, Noel Wynn almost got it back over, but couldn't quite get it. Santa Ong has brought the hustle. That's all that can be said. Exquisite ball movement She's here by aware. the Cubs. She is aware of her surroundings. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, with another good serve. Bumped. Set by Wynn, spike by Warden, and the Tigers get back. They're getting out of their cage. All righty. Let me just say, uh, Luke serving, won't know what to do next time Donald Yap gets to the line. <laughs> serving now for the Tigers is going to be number four, Kate Warden, as they trail two to seven. The handsome trail. Serve goes over, bumped by Ong, set by Yap, spike by... Flatberg was blocked. Number 15, Mangarelli gets it back over, but Cubs, Cubs aren't going down without a fight. Amazing spike there by Kira Blatberg to give the ball back to the Cubs. And now she's going to the line. Cubs lead eight to two in the first period, or the first set, excuse me. Excuse you. Bumped by a beta straight over. Sir Jody. Jennifer with the sneaky play. Sneaky. Oh yeah. See, that was scary right there. They pretended like they were gonna spike it really hard, and then she just tipped it over. Lick never saw it coming. The eye of the tiger is not here tonight. Yep, master on. Blatberg serves it over. Bumped up by Chun, ah. and it goes out of bounds. Dude, it might be too early, but I got a feeling. Uh, Kira Blatberg is going to catch fire here. That's three in a row. I've got a feeling. I think we're going to call it, if they get five serves in a row, they are the girl on fire. Call them Katniss Everdeen. Oh, oh great block by number 21, Grace Warner. They almost got it over, but she just slapped it right back down. You know I'm going to say I've never seen Grace Warner play, but she is lethal. She's, she's balling out. Is this going to be uh, Blatberg's third or fourth serve? I believe it's her fourth. Her fourth. All righty, let's see it. Serve goes over. Oh! I'm not gonna lie, that one definitely looked like it was gonna go out of bounds. But number 16 for the Tigers, Chun, did skimmed her elbow and went out of bounds. There goes the first time out to the Lick Tigers. I'm not gonna lie right now. It looks like the Lick Tigers, like, are we in the zoo right now? They're still in their cage. They are still in their cage. Jake Goodman is doing some push-ups to our side. That now, be Jake Goodman, he is going to be the starting tight end tomorrow at our homecoming football game. We very highly encourage you guys come. It's going to be a great day. 2 p.m., keys are. Yeah, it's homecoming weekend. Couldn't ask for anything better. Can't ask for anything at any. You won't get anything better. You're not. You can't get better than the best. That's what can't get better than the best. That's the mentality. Alrighty, so the Cubs are up 12-2 to here in the first set. 
Licks, I don't know. They they were supposed to be some top dogs. I had an interview pregame with uh, Captain Jen Serjati, and she said, Licks not going to go down without a fight. What are our thoughts here? Are they going to come back in this set, or is this one, can we just call it convents already? You know, I think you can't lose the hustle. You got to keep bringing the pressure Bring until the, the pressure. end of the game. That's, that's, that's a good mentality. Until I would... Licks going back to the south side of San Francisco. <laughs> no trophy so in their bad. hand. No trophy. All righty. Serving for the Cubs, it's still going to be Kira Blackberg. Is this, no, I think it's her fourth. This is her fourth? I think it's her fifth. Or it's her fifth. If she catches, if she hits one more, dude, we We're, might need to call 911, call the fire department, call man. The fire department. Oh, looks like referees are having a little, little struggles right now. They're trying to pick out the ball. Maybe, or, oh, do, I, do I sense a deflate gate? Deflate gate? I don't know. <laughs> Are they trying to deflate the volleyballs? I don't know. Might might just be speculation, but it looks like something similar that uh, what happened in Foxborough a few years ago. Yeah. New England Patriots. Yeah, Tom Never. Brady. He he loves to cheat. Yeah. You know. We are not Buccaneers fans here. He's not my number twelve. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers for life. Aaron, he had a horrible outing on uh, last Sunday. Not sure if you saw that against the Saints. Saints are supposed to be horrible, and uh, they lost like three to. 30 something I want to say. Aaron Rodgers is on track to throw, I believe, it's like 34 touchdowns or 34 uh, interceptions this season. And that's his thing. He's normally the guy who never throws interceptions. Very interesting. We'll see if they can turn it around next week. This isn't the Aaron Rodgers I know. Yeah. Uh, Probably COVID. I don't know if you guys even want to hear about football, but that's what we're talking about right now because we don't have any ideas. I don't know if we can open the chat, but. Um, Alrighty, we're going back in. Uh, I think it's pretty much the same crew out there for the Convent Cubs. And the same people out there for the Tigers as well, it seems. Oh, that's just... Alrighty, Blattberg, let's see it. They've decided on a ball. Oh, serve goes over. That's bumped up by Warden and spiked by Mangarelli. The convent digs it out pretty easily. What a powerful spike there by Sergiotti. They Lick made a great play on that though. Oh, another that was a great spike on by uh, the Tigers there. Annalise Mangarelli hits it real hard. I think that was Sergiotti who tried to block it, but it went right out of bounds. Hey, I mean I don't know, whatever the Lick uh, head coach told them during that timeout, it must be working to some extent here. They still trail 3-12 to 12 as uh, Maya Beta comes to the line to serve. She said, make a comeback or you're going to uni. <laughs> serve goes, oh. oh! Man, that's unfortunate. Serve doesn't even make it over the net. Like Substitutions for Convent as number eight, Natalie Kushner comes in for number 22, uh, Shanna Ong. Serving for the Cubs is... What's her name? 24, Samantha Calvin. What happened there? I missed it. I was looking down. The, uh, one of the Tigers tipped it out of bounds. Tipped it. Point for the Cubs. Point for the Cubs. Oh, but the referee's got something to say. Oh, maybe not. Oh, nope. Point for the Tigers. After that, number 22, Ong subbed back in for Calvin. Look, has seven players on the court. <laughs> number 16, Sonia Chung, or Chun, excuse me, subs out for number 14, Lila Cummings for the Tigers. Ooh. Serve. By number seven, Sophia Noose does not make it over the net there. That one hurts. Alrighty, Cubs lead 14 to four. I don't know, I know these sets go to, is it 21 or 25 points? 25. Excuse us, we are not uh, volleyball aficionados, but uh, we're trying our best. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> number seven, Kaya Coenisberg for Convent. Just served right there, got it over the net, and Lick could not return it. Cubs lead 15 to four. Coinisberg still serving. Coinisberg. Serve goes up, bumped by a beta, set, and spike. Ooh. That was a powerful smike, spike, excuse me, <laughs> by Cameron Kwok, but it didn't get over the net. If it got over the net, I don't know if Convict could have got it back. Fortunate for the Cubs, Darnley she couldn't Yap get it high enough. Yeah, all righty. Uh, Coenisberg is still serving. Cubs lead 16 to 4. Serve goes up. Bumped by Abeda. Set. And spiked by Cummings. 
dug out by oh Blatberg. Ah. Oh my goodness, who was that? Who spiked that? Jennifer Sergiotti. That was Jen. Man, that was a great spike there by Sergiotti. Cubs now lead 17. Oh, it was out of bounds. Excuse me, never mind. Not a great spike then. I believe she touched it if I saw it correctly. Tiger, <laughs> Tigers trail 5 to 16 as number 14, Lila Cummings, is serving. Oh, that one could not quite make it over the net either. That seems like Lick's biggest problem, to be honest with you. Seems to be this problem. I mean, I'd say they've they've gotten five points, and you know that means they've served five times. They, I'd say, they've thrown it away the first first chance they've gotten every single time, or, or like for three or four of the times. Who served that? Jennifer that, Sergiotti. Yeah, Jen served. That one went out of bounds. Hey, it's, Tigers are still alive. Right. Nobody's nervous. They just gave the point to, I think that's an error on the scoreboard. I think they just, I don't know. Right now, Tigers are down 6 to 17. Wow. Number six. Oh, number six, Carter Fleming was serving, and she hit it just too far. Can't that one went right out of bounds. And she just got, or uh, sorry, Fleming's got subbed out for a beta. And number 17, Peyton Falconers checks in for number eight, Natalie Kushner for the Cubs. Uh, Falconer is going to be serving right now as the Cubs lead 18 to 6. It's Jake. All right, uh, excuse me. Spike by number 11. Who's that? Sorry. Cameron Clock was very well placed. Convent could not return it. Oh, a couple substitutions. Number 9, 15, and 16. So that's going to be. Uh, Win, Mangarelli, and Chun check back in for the Tigers. Number nine, Win is going to be serving. They trail seven to eighteen. Ong checks back in for the Cubs. This is mine. Joseph, you dirty dog. It was not me, I swear. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Seems like we're taking a little break from action. Referee might be waiting on something, some kind of substitution. Wow, the home crowd is cheering them on. All right, 18 to seven. I'm not gonna lie, the Tigers are playing with fire here. They're playing. Dude, it's, they got a lot, of, uh, a lot of work to do to get back in this set. That's why we play best of five though, you know? Sometimes you're not on the top of your game at the first one. And Lick is not on top of their game for the first one. Yep, that's clear, <laughs> but hey, never too late. And if this is the top of their game? Win serves, bumped by, that was either Sajati or Blackberg, I'm not sure. Whoa. Calvin spikes it back over. Oh, that was a mean spike there by number four, Kate Warden, but it is dug out by the Cubs. Bumped over by Mangarelli. Cubs. Oh, Calvin with an amazing spike there. She hit that ball very hard. And I'm not sure, I think it was number five, Abeda could not return it back over the net. Cubs lead 19 to seven. Number 21, Warner checks in. And I can't see who's serving. Uh, I'll let you know in a second. Oh, it's Yap. Donnelly with this, oh, it, they just bumped it and it hit the backboard. That was insane, that's a high bump. Spike by Calvin, oh. it's dug out, oh, alrighty. Oh, spike by uh, Warden is blocked by Calvin. Oh, set by Yap, oh, yeah. oh my goodness. That was a shimmy right there. Is that Houdini? Is that's that Houdini? Houdini. She just pretended like she was going to set it to a friend or to a teammate and set it right into the middle of the Tigers' floor and they had no chance. Samantha Calvin is a slugger. She can hit it. All right, Yap with another great serve. A diving Abeda makes contact but cannot get it back over the net. Cubs lead 21 to 7. Dude, I, I don't think Donnelly's going to end. I think she's just going to go to the, like, Dude, these serves are insane. Oh my god, that's an ace! 
That's three in a row. Her balls have no spin on them, I've noticed. It's, it's like a knuckleball in baseball. I'm not sure it's how just familiar like a you guys ball. are with, uh, with baseball pitches, but that ball has no spin. Cubs lead 22 to 7. Yep. Oh, looks like she's caught the tiger fever. <laughs> she does not quite make it over the net for that one. Lick trails 8 to 22 as number four, Kate Warden, is serving. Oh, referee called timeout. Oh, never mind. Serve is up, over, bumped up by Ong, bumped again. Spike by number 14, Blatberg. Great play on Lick's end. I'm not sure who it was, though. Oh, oh, tipped over. After the set, they had two decoy spikers. But then number 14, Kira Blackbird, just taps it over into no man's land. Oh, never mind, she touched the net. That's going to be a point for the Tigers. They still trail by 13 here. I didn't see her touch the net. Number four, Warden, is still going to be serving for the Tigers. Whoa, come on. Bumped up. Set by Yap. Spike oh! by Calvin. Great uh, hit by is that Abeda. That was a very impressive play on Lixen. Another spike. Oh my goodness. Kira Blatberg spikes. Dude, they can't return them. Can't. I feel bad. Convent's spikers are simply relentless. Dude, it, yeah. To put it simply, they are relentless. It's scary, man. I feel bad. Now serving, it's, it's Blatberg again. After that spike, do you think she can get two points for the Cubs? Just put this set out, win the first set for the Cubs. Serves over, oh! Man, hey, the past two Cubs serves have both gone either into the net or out of bounds. Is that a bad sign? Are you worried? I'm a little worried. I will not lie, I'm a little worried. Nevertheless, Lick still trails by 13 as number five, Maya Beta, is serving. Bumped up. Again by Yap and bumped over by Calvin. Set. Ooh, good spike there by Chun, but the Cubs dug it out. Ooh, Ooh. great spike there by Sergiotti. Hey, you smell that? It smells like game point to me, Joe. It smells just like it. It's a beautiful 24 smell. 24 to 10. Do you? Th oh, Shelby Low checks in. She's going to be serving. Can she put this set away? Can she win it for the Cubs right here? She absolutely can. All right, time will tell. Let's see. Boom. Ah! Oh, and it's an ace. And that concludes the first set. Cubs are going to lead 1-0, to zero, 25-10. to 10. Were you expecting that? Absolutely. I never doubted them. You really? Know what they say, never doubt Shelby Lowe. Never doubt. That's, that's a motto to live by. It's a motto to live by. I, honestly, I'm going to be honest. Like, that was a bit of a surprise. I mean, <laughs> I think it's good. We're live. You have any words? Hey, wise words from uh, Miss DeSantis? Nope, she ran away. 25 to 10. That's that. They're making a statement there. They're making a statement. Early I mean, in as the I game. mentioned earlier, I, I had a pregame interview with uh, Jen, and she said, Lick's legit. They're, they're legit. And honestly, if they're legit, we're legit square. I must say, they're good. I wouldn't call them legit, but they're good. Yeah. But they're if they're based. good, what does that make the Convict Cubs? We're fantastic. Hey, what do you have to say? Hey, what do you have to say to our audience? Uh, Vice President of Convent, Annalie Dolan, what do you have to say? We're live. And Alia. Um, the audience is great, cheering on. Yeah, we've got a limited crowd here. The rest of the students are actually on Sayufi Court watching this live. Shout out everyone who's watching. I have no clue how many. I, I could, for all I know, there's zero people there. There could be 100. Um, but we got, I think the crowd is actually, are they, are you guys all going up? Is this the whole crew? Oh, okay. This just You're in. filtering them out. So there is a group of students on Sayufi court watching the game or watching the broadcast. And I've now just been informed that they are, there's only a limited capacity for the gym right now. So they're rotating groups of students to come in and watch one set each. Now that is a mastermind. Let's hear it, Ms. DeSantis. What made you think of this brilliant plan? We just wanted to have as many people be able to cheer for the team and be able to see the game. Yeah, everyone loves the home crowd. Right? We love I, it. I know. Volleyball yeah. players deserve it. They yeah, deserve volleyball it. players yeah. definitely deserve it. Right? Oh, new crowd is coming in. I see David Ross, Greg Kosmowski, Dash Delaire, 
William Ferguson. These are all football players who are going to be balling out tomorrow afternoon at Kizar. I don't, them. I don't know. People are waving at us, but can't really tell who they are. Oh, I see Daniel Hawkins Collins. That is our... Hey, can we get a close-up on Daniel? That guy is a menace. I'm telling you, tomorrow, he is not going to let a single sack up. He's, he's a dog. That's all I can say. Great offensive lineman. Nose tackle. He's, he, he gets it done. Alrighty, we got 33 seconds left before the second set is going to begin. Joe, what are you expecting here? You think the Tigers are going to come back with a little bit of fire? They're going to be like, man, we came with a chip on our shoulder. We won last year. Actually, I don't even know if they won last year. Disregard that comment. Um, okay, starting six for the Tigers are going to be number nine, Win. Number three, Nolan. Number 13, Fleming. Uh, number four, Warden. Uh, number eight, Young. And wait, who's the last one? I don't remember who I've said and who I haven't said. Oh, number 11 is making an appearance. That's going to be Cameron Kwok. Then for the Cubs, we've got Yap, Kushner, Serjati, Calvin, Blatberg, and uh, Coenisberg. And then number 22, Shanna Ong is standing on the sidelines. She's the one, I'm not sure what the terminology is, but she's the one with the other jersey. She's it's called a libero. Yep, libero. What, mm -hmm. what do you think, what does libero do? I'm just curious. I'm not a huge volleyball guy. They get the job done. They get the job done. Alrighty. Ong is checking in for, that is Calvin. And I think because the Tigers served first last time, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Cubs get to serve first on this one. Sounds right to me. <laughs> no, Joe, tell me, do you think that it's like a, a little curse? Like if you have to serve first, then you're going to lose? Because that's what we've seen so far today. Convent doesn't fall victim to curse. They Maybe they're just like wizards and they just, maybe it should just be the convent wizards. Convent wizards and wizardettes. Yep. Now tell me, are we in uh, Harry Potter or what? Okay. Number seven, Kaya Coenisberg is going to be serving for the Cubs as we start the second set. Time will tell how she does. Serve is over. Bumped by Nolan. Oh, it went over the net. Penalty. Okay, so that, so Nolan bumps it. Everyone thinks that another Lick Tiger is going to set it, but it ends up going over the net. Convent bumps it up, but it hits the thing on the, I don't know. The field goal. The field goal. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be a point for the Tigers. Coming off to a lead. I don't know. All right, number four. Kate Warden's going to be serving. Bumped up by Ong. Again. Spike by Sir Jody is tipped. Oh, my goodness. If Lick returns this, that, oh, that was a great set right there. On with the bump, set, oh, tipped over by Sir Jotty, but Nolan makes a great play there. Spiked by Sir Jotty, nope, that one just goes out of bounds. Oh my goodness, our principal has sent us a text message. Okay, uh, sorry for before, we were pronouncing Coenisberg wrong. It is actually Co, Coigsberg? Coigsberg, Coenisberg, Coenisberg. Coenisberg. All right, we'll, we'll get that from now on. That's served by number four. Kate Warden goes out of bounds, and Convent gets on the board as they trail two to one. Wait, what was it? It was Cone Igsberg? Cone, Igs Cone Igsberg. Okay, sorry, we'll get that. Joe, give me some commentary. Sorry, I was a little distracted. Spike by Yap. Nolan, oh, Lick got that back. Wow. Little miscommunication there by the Cubs. Not to undermine the amazing play there by the Tigers, but I'll undermine it. <laughs> Convent seemed a little turned around there. I'm not sure if they could figure it out. Bo Darwin is back. Any wise words? Go Cubs. Go Cubs. Go Cubs? Go Tigers. How's the, how's the, oh, no. did you look up there? No, I'm out. Oh, you're out. Right, I'll catch you. Bo also another uh, 655 and Bo's leaving. Another uh, football player. That one went out of bounds. That's going to be a point for the Cubs. 
number 17 and 24 check in for the Cubs, and number eight checks in, number eight Yang checks in for the uh, Tigers. The Tigers. Number 17, Peyton Falconer is gonna be serving for the Cubs here. So they trail two to three. Appreciate it, boys. Oh, Lick could, oh my goodness, she just tried to head her the ball. <laughs> I've seen it all, I've seen it all. Lick bumped it, it hit another player right in the face. Not right sure if it was noggin. intentional or not. Straight to the dome. All right, Falconer for her second one. That one tied up the set at three. Serves up and over. Oh, Spike. Oh, tapped by Nolan. She's not sly like Jen, but they, they still got it back. Bumped over, set by, or bumped by Serjati, set. Spike by Calvin is tipped. Oh, Spike back by Kwok. Does not make it over the net. Convent takes their first lead of the set. Uh, I don't know. Peyton Falconer, she's balling out right there on the line. She's doing it all. Let's see. It's bumped. Ooh, good spike there right by uh, Carter Fleming. Hits it right in the back left corner of Cubs territory. They're painting corners. They're painting corner. Hey, that hey, game respects game. Game respects game. This set is tied at four. And uh, yeah, looks like this one's gonna be a little bit closer. Do you think that the Lick uh, Lick head coach had some some anger in her I don't know, uh, mid-set speech? Perhaps. Perhaps. I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Calvin spikes it. Ooh, that one had way too much on it. Fireball. Fireball. It's like when you play Clash Royale. Yeah. And you shoot a fireball, but you don't hit anything. And you hit the king tower. You're just like, it. dang it. It's like playing Clash Royale with Greg. Oh! 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 See? I think it's getting to the Cubs' head. Because last set, I don't know if you remember, but uh, Donnelly Yap, she pretended like she was gonna set it to her friend and she hit it over. That time she tried to set it, or she was pretending to set it, but then she spiked it, but it went out of bounds. Oh, blocked by uh, the Tigers. Spiked by Blattberg. Nope, oh. not a spike, a tip. And a diving Sadie Nolan could not quite catch up to it. A dive and a miss. A dive and a miss. Couldn't have said it better myself. Straight to the ground. All right. Donnelly Yap coming to the line again. I think the Cubs need need some momentum here. Bumped up. Oh, little miscommunication there. Yep, that's four. Tigers could not make it over the net there. This set is tied at six. The ball game is tied. See, I find these games a lot more interesting, or these sets, because you know it's, it's a close game. It's true. But I love to see Convent in the league, you know. Hey, we are unbiased here. I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, I'm yeah. actually a Lick fan, believe it or not. <laughs> Donald Yap is going to be at the line here, serving again. Said nobody ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Joseph, Kidding. maybe Kidding. you jinxed it right there. I know a few Yap hits people. it right into the net. And that was a joke. And now the Tigers lead 7-6 as Sadie Nolan comes to the line to uh, serve. Let's see if they can extend their lead. Oh. Gets over the net. Ooh. Great hit there by uh, Samantha Calvin. Goes up, pretends to spike it. Taps it in the opposite direction of her eyesight. Dude, that's Houdini's type stuff. Dude. Houdini. Magician. Honestly. Working magic on the court. Magic. Poetry in motion. Poetry in motion. Couldn't have said it better myself. Kira Blattberg is going to be serving for the Cubs as the set is tied 7-7. Seven 7-0. Seven. Seven Ooh. Uh, Looks like... Cubs are kind of doing what the Tigers had an issue with uh, in the first set there. She just hits it into the net. That's that's going to be a point for Lick Wilmerding. I'm going to say the only way you win these games is if you get your uh, your serves over the net. If you get it together. Number eight, Zoe Yang is going to be serving for the Tigers. Oh, that one may have gone out of bounds, but looks like Jen Sarjati didn't want to take any risks. So she hit it anyway. Ong tries to spike it, but that one goes... I'd say a solid six feet out of bounds. Hey, the, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Tigers, have, they're up by two now, nine to seven. This might be their largest lead of the night. Could very well be. I'm not a math guy myself. <laughs> Number eight, Yang, still serving. Bumped up by Yap. Spiked by Blatberg. 
Lick's about to spike it. Number nine, that's gonna be Wynn, gets it over. Oh! Calvin with a great spike there. I think I had a really good angle. I think that one was just out of bounds. Great call by the referee. It was a close one. I that, saw the same thing. I saw a couple Convent Bias fans, you know, look a little shaky after that one, but I think the referee made a good call. Oh! Wow, not sure if you heard that there, but the Knights, uh, Knights and Cubs, we have a student section in here, as I mentioned earlier. They were getting a little rowdy before that one. They are bringing that. They may have rattled Zoe Yang into hitting that ball in the net. Getting the job Looks done. Looks like Mr. Santis is telling them to be quiet. Man, that's a bummer. Number nine, Ooh. or sorry, excuse me, number three, Shelby Lowe. Could not make that, uh, what's it called, that serve over the net. That's three straight, I believe. I could be wrong. <sighs> Hurts. Not sure. Long way from catching fire. Tigers are up 11 to eight. Number nine, Noel Wynn is gonna be the server. Bumped up, set, spike Boom. by Sir Johnny. That was, that was a rocket. Oh, just out of bounds. I did not have as good vision on that one. I cannot confirm. I saw the same thing. Uh, my father just sent me a funny text. I don't know why I said that, but I thought it was worth mentioning, you know? Um, yeah, all right. So timeout taken, I think, I'm assuming by comment. They're down eight to 12. This might be their, their uh, largest deficit of the night. Four points. What do you think, uh, I don't know what their coach's name is. What do you think he's, uh, he's saying to them right now? His name is Curtis. Curtis, the other coach one's name Curtis. is Coach Mobley. All right, well, I know Coach Motley. He's a teacher. What do you think they're telling their girls right now? What are they telling? Hey, Cubs, what's the issue? Address the issue, go. Think. You know, that tenacity you had in the first set, we need to bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. That's all they're saying. Okay. Because they know how to do it. Now I'm going to put you in the mindset of the Lick Coach. They are having their largest lead of the night, 12 to 8. What are they saying? Just stick with the momentum? Just saying, don't do what you did in the first one. <laughs> don't do what you did in the first one. Hey, wise words. Wise words. This is our student body president, Joseph Shea. I, this man, I would not be surprised if he is a Nobel Prize winner. Me give him, neither. Give him 40 years. <laughs> Alrighty. Give me 10. Okay, uh, score is 12 to eight. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, number nine, <laughs> win, serves it. Looks like that one got bumped right out of bounds. Not sure who hit it. Um, uh, Lick Tigers lead 13 to eight. Win serves again. Bumped up again by Sir Jody. Boom. Spiked by, who was it? That was Donnelly. Good call. Donnelly, yep. That one just touched the back net. Gregory Kosmowski. Hey, Greg, you got anything to say to the crew? Get a good game out here, you know. Good game. Hey, we're we we have a great game. Score now is nine to three. The uh, Cubs trail. Number seven, Kaya Konigsberg. I'm sorry, I forgot it. What well, she's serving right now? Jen Sarjati. Oh my goodness! That was a fireball. She hit that ball so hard and knocked right. him right over. We used an analogy earlier with the fireball from Clash Royale. That's the fireball that when you hit it, you throw it, and then they throw something down right where the fireball is going to hit, and then it kills that too. When you waste a the fireball, come oh on. My now. goodness, classic. Oh, looks like they may have, uh, I don't know, got too excited. That one does not make it over the net. Lick leads 10 to 14. Wow, we are getting some feedback. Apparently, oh, wait, sorry. I just want to talk about this during a timeout. Oh, yap with the kill. Thank you for the vocab. I got a text message. Apparently, I, honestly, I'm having a good time. That's all that matters. Uh, apologies, we did not know there was not a term. Spike isn't a term. That's cap. <laughs> That's cap. Uh, they keep saying bump. To pass. Yeah, it's not, I, you're not worth my time. Okay, excuse that. Nolan with the spike. Yeah, you can get some. Oh, that was like a fadeaway from Keir Blackberg, but it goes right into the net.
bumped up. Set and killed by Sir Jotty. Oh, but number six, Carter Fleming blocks it and knocks it down. That's going to be a point for the Tigers. Wow. It's 16 to 11. Uh, number 13, Katie Fleming is still serving. Bumped up. Set. Killed by Yap. That one. That I don't. I don't think anyone could have returned that one. No. That was a very hard hit volleyball. The U.S. Olympic team would be speechless. Yep. Sign this woman to a contract. Uh, number 17, Falconer checks in for number eight, Kushner. Falconer's going to be serving for the Cubs. They're only down four. They're not out of this. They are so in this. <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah! Nolan makes a great bump to get it back over. Boom! Oh, oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Spike right god. there by Samantha Calvin. That ball was hit very hard as That's well. That's a level 12 fireball right there. That is a level 12 fireball. Wow! Falconer still serving. Not to discredit Nolan's uh, dive right there to even keep a lick in it at the first place. I'll discredit it. <laughs> Uh, spike by number four, oh, Warden gets it tricky, over, tricky, tricky. and Convent could not get it back over the net. Lick Tigers lead 17 to 13. They got eight eight points, and then it's game, man. This is this is close. It's a close call. I saw that, Joe. I saw that chat. It's a no go. <laughs> it's a no go. It's a cigar. Wow. Okay. Uh, number 11, Cameron Kwok checks out for number seven, Sophia Noose who is going to be serving for the Tigers. Set, uh, set again. Spike by Nolan is tipped by Calvin. Spike back by Blatberg. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be unbiased. They gave, that, they gave that point to Convent, and I'm 95% sure that ball was out of bounds. It was out of bounds by at hey. least a yard. We'll say, nah, I wouldn't say a yard. It was a close one. I'd say a yard. Maybe even two. All right, Yap with the serve. Ooh. Ooh. Good play by number eight for Lick. Ooh, tipped over by Nolan. Ooh, a diving Yap could not set the ball. That's going to be a point for the Tigers. Yap brings the hustle. You can't take that away. Lick is now up 18 to 14. This is a close one, man. This is a close one. Number three, Sadie Nolan is serving. Goes over, bumped up, hit by Yap. Ooh, wow, the sneaky oh, play! My goodness. That was sneaky. Number 21, Grace Warner sets it right into Tigers No Man's Land. The sneaky As play number never five, fails. Maya Beta checks in for number three, Sadie Nolan on the Tigers end. Serving, Blatberg. Ooh! That one goes right out of bounds, just as quickly as she went up to the line. Uh, Tigers lead 19 to 15. Number eight, Zoe Yang is going to be serving for the for Lick Wilmerding. Bing. Ooh! Serves it. That one goes out of bounds. This is a three-point game, Joe. Wow. Uh, Comet trails 16 to 19. Serving for the Cubs is going to be Shelby Lowe. I hate to bring this up, but last time she was up, she hit it. She didn't make it over the net. Do you think she's got it right here? She's in the first got set, it. First set, she had it. Let's see if she can uh, catch that steam again. Catch the steam, Shelby. Let's hear. Boom. Serve. Oh, that was a good one. Spike by number nine. Win. No. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. That's highlight reel. That is highlight reel. Shelby Lowe just made a great play. Lick gets it over. This is going to be a free one. Yap with the set. Spike oh. for Johnny. Yeah. That was on the money. Taylor made. Taylor made. Wow. wow. Star Johnny. Woo. Convent is back in this set. That's one thing I've learned. I don't know about you. Shelby Lowe brought the hustle. All that can be said. All right, let's see if Shelby can keep it going. La boom. Cubs trail 17 to 19. Oh, oh my goodness. Had I've her. never seen. All right, I'm going to explain that one after this uh, point. That was insane. That was insane. Bop. Oh. All right, so pretty much what happened there, Shelby Lowe, she hits it over the net. There's a person on Lick. 
who's like moving when the ball's coming over with her back turned to the net. The ball hits her on the head, but then bounces straight up. So it's almost as good as a good set. Like honestly, great hit. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe she tried to hit her. No, Shelby, it was probably intentional. <laughs> Alrighty. Spike by Sir. Oh, wow! The trick play never fails. The trick play never fails. You see, they implemented it into the, the Lick players' minds that, that whenever Jennifer gets a set, she's going to spike it really hard. But nope. Then you get that curveball. She taps it over right into No Man's Land once again. Comet trails 18 to 20. This is a closer set. This is what I expected. Primetime volleyball, Friday night. This is what I paid for. This is why I get service hours. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is why I have Xfinity. Whether it was intentional or not, I couldn't see what number it was. But the player on Lick who spiked that, it hit the net, and it ricocheted in a direction that there was no convent player, but it would still land on the court. Very wise. Very Geometry. wise. As number three, Sadie Nolan checks in for number five, Maya Beta. Number four, Kate Warden is going to be serving for the Tigers. She's probably trying to put this one away. Oh, timeout has been taken by... I do not know who took the timeout. I'm not going to lie. However, uh, Tigers are up 21 to 18. This is a good match right now. I must say, Con Lick looks awful confident right now. Yeah, they, I don't know, whatever, whatever their coach said from set one to set two, it's working. I'll tell you what they should be saying. Don't sleep on convent. Don't sleep, all right. You heard it here. This set is not over until it's over. Not over until it's over. Uh, we have, ooh, 34 current viewers. I don't know how many people are uh, upstairs right now. The student section is kind of getting loud now though. The student section is booming, to say the very least. They have the, the convent Stuart Hall flag. Oh my goodness, is that QB1? I think I spy QB1, William Ferguson. He's going to be starting the game tomorrow. All what right. do you got to say? What, do you, what are you watching in this volleyball game? What's going no, on? It's a close game. You know, I, I have confidence that the Cubs could finish this one off and get the dub. You know, let's go Cubs. Hey, hey, quiet on the set, quiet on the set. It's on the serve. On the Kate Warden <laughs> serves it over. Set. Spike by Sir oh, Johnny is tipped. Oh. Okay. Nolan with the spike back, and it's in. That's going to be a point for Lick. This is a four-point ball game. Lick just needs three points to close this one out. Didn't see this one coming. Did not see this one coming. Hey, the game, those though. earlier wise words from William Ferguson, senior, captain of the football team along with me. And he is uh, he's QB1. Live in the booth. Live <laughs> in the booth. Call me Kurt Warner. All right. Kate Warden. Serve. That one is going to be out of bounds. That was a close one, though. Still a good serve, nevertheless. Uh, I wouldn't call it good. <laughs> Comet trails 19 to 22 in the second set. Who's going to be serving? Three-point game. Oh, it's Sir Johnny. <laughs> it's Sir Johnny. <laughs> oh, no one will keep on. Oh! oh! Number eight, Natalie, Natalie Kushner. Kushner. She knocked that one down quick. I don't think Lick could have done anything. <laughs> if Jen Sir, Sir Johnny catches fire right here, Dude, she could, I don't know. It's crazy, man. Serve goes over, has a little oomph in it. Oh, good spike there by number 13, Kate Fleming. Tipped over by Yap. All right. Spike Ooh. by number 14. Spike by number 14, Sheriff Blackbird. All right, that one, I'm not gonna lie, 100% out of bounds. They definitely gave Cubs that call. That one, I was sure of it. Unless it tipped someone on the tiger, I'm not sure. That Comes not now trail time. 21 to 22. This is a close one. Oh my goodness! What a serve! This is a tie This set. is a tie game. I love this, it is going to overtime. I don't Correct know if they do that. if I'm wrong. But I don't too. think that this has been uh, tied since like it was like four to four. Yeah. Tigers have had the lead for a while. Don't see if I'm caught. Sir Jotty. Oh. Ooh. Good serve there. Then Nolan tries to set it off the bat. Is this Conrad's first lead of the game? Good. It's their second. Ah. Timeout taken by Lick. This is what we live for. I tell you that. Score is 23 to 22. Cubs lead. Big comeback there. BCL prime time. This is BCL prime time. Friday night lights in the gym. Convent. 
I wonder what Uni's thinking right now. Yeah, if I was Uni, I would be tuning into this broadcast. Yeah. I'd be looking at the plays. I'd be saying, all right, she can spike it. Let's keep it away from her. Or, I don't, I don't know. I don't know volleyball that well. I'm saying, we're, I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah. We can't defend that. Yeah. If I was Uni, I, dude, I may not even show up. I'm Condit? looking up Lick how to apply. <laughs> or more better, Convent how to apply. More better. Convent is a powerhouse. Forced to be reckoned with right now. They take their first lead in a very long time. And it's much deserved. All right, hey, Jennifer Sojati continuing to serve here. Let's see. She needs two points to put this one away. QB1, William Ferguson making his way back over here. Oh, serve. Oh my that's goodness. In. That's it, that was that's funny. Great call, I'll tell you. Some of the Lick players looked a little angry right there. I had a tremendous angle. That ball was in balance. Point for Convent. Game. Hey, Joe, what smell is that? I smell game point. I smell game point as well. Oh, Serve. Bumped up. Set. Spike by Nolan is blocked. Oh. oh. All right. Spike by number 11. Cannon Cook. Doesn't matter. Convent takes fires. Hit the net on their attempted spike. Thank you. Uh, Cubs take set number two. Wow. But Joe, we must analyze. Cubs wouldn't want to landslide the first run, fair to say. Fair to say. But this second one, that, they gave them a run for their money. They I, gave them, I gotta go lead this chant really quick. Okay, yep. I'm going to uh, blow my nose. I'll be back in about a minute or so. Wow. Do you hear this student section? There are some menaces. We will catch you in a couple minutes. Thank you for tuning in. Alrighty, we are tuning back in. Ooh, 55 bang, seconds. Outside. Those hats. All right, Matthew Give Lim. Hello. <laughs> okay. Kill. Kill. Okay. Um, 40 seconds. Whoop. 45 seconds until the third set's gonna start. Uh, again, this is Zeke Novishin. I'm a senior, joined by Joseph Shea, another senior. Uh, we we just love broadcast. We we love school spirit. Um, another shout out, uh, or actually a plug, as I like to call it. Plug. Uh, Blah, blah. Homecoming football game tomorrow, 2 p.m. at Kizar. Be there or you're lame. Uh, Knights are going to take on, uh, what's it called? Forget what school it is. Uh, but we're going to bring home the W. Uh, I'm a captain, and I would really appreciate it if everyone showed up. All right, Joseph. Convent is up 2-0 to zero as far as the sets go. Do you think they're going to get the sweep? and win all three without letting Lick take home a single W? I can smell it in the air. He can Carmen's smell it. got this in hey, the bag. We got it. We got to credit Lick on that last set though. They they made it close. They definitely made it close. Uh, it looks like the student section is rotating again. Those who were upstairs on Sayufi watching it on the big screen are coming down to the gym. <laughs> Excuse me. And those who were in the gym went back up to Sayufi. 
Starting six for Convent is going to be number 24, Samantha Calvin. Number 14, Kira Blattberg. Number two, Donald Yap. Number 22, Shanna Ong. Wait, Malcolm, Malcolm. Number 18, Jen Serjati. And number uh, 14, I don't, or, sorry. I don't, I don't remember who I already said. But it's like the same crew that was out there before. Or sorry, the last person is Grace Warner. Yeah, what's in that backpack, John? All right, for the Tigers, we've got number six, Carter Fleming. Number three, Sadie Nolan. Number 15, Annalise Mangarelli. Number 13, oh wait, I already said Katie. Uh, oh, there's Carter Fleming and Katie Fleming. Okay, I just realized that there are two Flemings, but both sisters are on the court. Number four, Kate Warden. What? Okay, and I can't You say something. I can't see. Let's go, boys! The last one is Noel Wynn. <laughs> we got this. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here bro. This guy's an idiot. Okay, number nine, Noel Wynn is going to serve for the Lick Tigers. Oh, set by Sir Jody. Set again by Ong. And set again by Donnelly up. That's the triple oh, no. set. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Donnelly. Spike by number 14. Blackbird gets over. <laughs> well, this one's going back. Oh! oh Donnelly oh, up with the sneaky oh. play. She's there a second. She's gone the next. Who do you need? Jinx. See, that's the team chemistry of the student hall, or Stuart Hall Student Council Executive uh, Committee, or Council. <laughs> committee Council. Uh, sorry, I forgot to remind you. This is, oh, another point for the hall. I mean, for a convent, they lead 2-0. Uh, this is Joe Shea, by my side, senior, and I'm Zeke Novishin, another senior. And you guys should all come to Keysar at 2 p.m. tomorrow to watch us take on... What's Woodside the what's Priory. the Woodside Priory? They're gonna take the L. All right, Donnelly Yap with the serve, set, spiked by number thirteen, Katie Fleming. It is tipped and goes out of bounds. Licks on the board. All righty, number fourteen, Lila Cummings is checking out, and Sadie Nolan checks back in for the Tigers as they trail one to two. Number four, Kate Warden is gonna be serving. Bumped up, bumped again by Calvin. No way, no way. Oh, All right, that would nearly hit the referee in the dome. Jennifer almost got it over. David, you got anything to say? All right, this is the Spirit uh, Athletics. Uh, what's it called? Rep. Athletics rep at Stewart Hall. What do you have to say? Are you enjoying the game? I am, Doug. I am. Go Convent. Go Cubs, baby. Do you have anything to say? What's your name again? My name is Coach Cody. <laughs> Coach Cody, what do you have to say? Uh, we're going to kick butt in this game. Woo! Maybe closer right now, but it's on. Yeah, it's on. You heard it here first. It's sweet time. Game time. time. Sweet time. Do I see brooms in the crowd? I think, I, think I see brooms. In the crowd, Dude, Convent, Convent, they don't want to even let Lick take one set. They want to get out of here. They want to enjoy their Friday night. They want to go to bed early so they can wake up early and go to our football game. And work on their EE after. And work on their extended SABs. They're all IB scholars. Yup. Yup. Comrade Stewart Hall, student athletes. Let me ask you, what's we your We prioritize EE, yeah. My, uh, I don't want to talk about my EE. It's about uh, profitability of professional sports teams, though. That's Let all I'm Let me tell say. you, if you even asked me, I couldn't talk about it. I don't even know what mine's about. <laughs> it's a top secret. It's top secret. Nicholas, you got anything to say? What is going on? <laughs> all right, that's our cameraman right there. He's got a question for the crowd. He says he does not know volleyball, and he asked, what's going on? What a cool guy. He doesn't know volleyball, but he knows how to work a camera. He knows how to work a camera. Big shout out. Oh, look at the flag. Hey, flag! Elizabeth! Yeah, you're on camera. Whoa. Looks like that's uh, some seniors showing up for the game. Hell yeah. I mean, heck yeah. Let's go, Convent Stewart Hall, baby. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Some sophomore is just, I don't like that kid. <laughs> um, alrighty. The third set is still tied at that. two to two. Uh, Convent leads two to zero as far as the sets go. Looks like pretty much all the students. Yo, is there anyone still upstairs? Uh, oh. 
All right, there's still a few people upstairs. Wow, we actually had a great turnout then. There are a lot of students here right now to support the Cubs. All righty, timeout is over. Referee is wait making his way up to his little stand. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Never mind. Uh, he's walking around. He's making his way back up to his stand. Uh, this set is tied two to two. Dana Kuhara, what do you have to say? Athletics director. Athletics director. Oh, she's just getting a towel. Lame. Okay. Number four, Kate Warden. Serve is over. Bumped by Ong. Bumped again by uh, Yap. And spiked by Blattberg. Sorry. Killed by Blattberg. Then Lick tries to come back. But Samantha Calvin said no. She said no. She jumped up and she blocked that ball. Convent leads 3-2. to two. Wow. I'm impressed. Joseph Sher, are you I'm impressed? I'm thoroughly impressed. Wow. That's all I can say. Speechless, except for wow. Oh! Error there. Number 14, Kira Blattberg. Uh, you know, she, she serves it over the net. Number 3, Sadie Nolan tries to set it. Goes right out of bounds. 4-2, to two, Convent. If I'm, if I'm Lick right now, I'm, I... We can't. I'm, I'm thinking shaking. we. I am yeah, shaking. I, I'm awfully scared. Great spike there by number 13, Katie Fleming, but it's still returned by the Cubs. Another spike, number 15, Anlis Mingarelli. Oh my oh goodness! God. Samantha oh Cowan. This woman is on fire, and she's not even at the line. This girl is on fire, Rihanna. Oh, I was always thinking of the Hunger Games references, reference. Excuse me. Wow. Cubs are up 5-2. to two. You predicted it. It's doing good. Uh, shout out Nikki Hogan. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, dude. I got I to gotta clown whoever that is. Sorry. Wait, I will in one second. Stay here. Uh, they served it over the net. One of the Lick players tried to set it. She hit it so high it hit the roof, changed the directory, and they couldn't do anything about it. Another great serve. Set and spike by Arnelis Mangarelli is blocked. Oh, come back. She's... Kills it again, gets it over. Oh my god, a kill from Sir Jotty. It's dug out. Oh my goodness, that was that was impressive. I don't even know how to describe that. Set by Yap. Spiked by Warner. It's dug out again by number eight, Zoe Young. Spiked oh! by Benjamin! Oh and it's god! a point for Convict! Oh my wow! God. It seems like I'm a broken record, Joseph! I'm a broken record. Spike by Calvin. Point for Convent. That's five in a row. You know what that means. I think. It smells like a fire. Call the fire department. Cure Blackbird. She is on fire. She's on fire. That's five in a row. Spike by oh. Nolan. Go out of bounds. bounds. That is. Very, very just say, just say it yourself. Okay, I got a note. Shout out the teachers tuning in via live stream. Hopefully some of you guys are my teachers and you give me an A in your class. That would be dope. Me too. I'm hoping for a B. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Kidding. Okay. Spike by oh, number 13, oh Katie Fleming. Very powerful, but had a little too much mustard on it. That one goes out of bounds. <laughs> Let me Convent tell you, leads 9-2. to two. The energy in the Herbert Center is electric right now. <laughs> dude, so Herbert Center is going crazy. Blackberg, dude, I, she may just serve 25 times in a row. I don't know. Great dig right there by Nolan. Oh, oh miscommunication! Oh. If I was the Lake Tigers uh, coach right now, I'd be calling a timeout. I'm she fine. bumped it up right into the middle of their crew. Nobody got it. Fell right in the middle. That's no excuses for that. Convent leads 10 to 2. Dug out by number 8. Bump. S killed by Nolan, but dug out by Ong. And killed by Sir Jotty. Nope, sorry, not Sir Jotty. Uh, Blattberg. Ooh, set over. Oh, the tip. Oh, not quite. Spike by Nolan is tipped. Set. Spike by Sir Jotty. Oh, great dig right there by number 11, Cameron Kwok. Then it's set over by Sadie Nolan right into no man's land. Lick, lick. Lick ended the girl on fire. They did. That was that was the longest uh, you know serving streak we've seen all night. The score is now ten to three. Looks like the student section is having some fun. I don't know if you can hear this. Oh, 
Number 13, Katie Fleming, serves the ball, but the referee calls it dead before, like, when the ball was in air because the student section was getting a little rowdy. Because they were booming. Honestly, if I was a Lick Tiger right now, I'd want to stay in the zoo. I'd want to stay in my cage. I'm a little scared. I'm so Awfully scared. timid. Because the gorillas are out. No, the Cubs, man. Oh, God. Cubs are feisty. Oh, that one was hit hard. Uh, the uh, Tigers could not bounce back from that one. Number eight, Zoe Young checks in for number 13, Katie Fleming on, Convent, or on uh, Lick's End. And number 17, Peyton Wagner checks in for number 24, Samantha Calvin. Hey, you know what, Joe? Falconer's gonna be going to the line. You think she can you think she can uh, catch fire? I got no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Time will tell. They leave a what? Oh! Amazing serve there. A diving Cameron Kwok almost got to it. She tipped it, but it went right out of bounds. Convent leads 12 to 3. Wow. Another serve. Bumped by Kwok. Set by Wynn. Oh, now by Natalie Kushka! <laughs> she denied that one. Slammed it right down. Look at the lick bench. They look somber. <laughs> I feel bad. Convent leads 13-3. to three. Oh, Falconer may have got a little too cocky on that one. Not gonna lie. It looks it's bent, right looks like into the. It looks like when you get an A on a test, but you still got a C in the class. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or when you get a C on the test and you get a D in the class. <laughs> Classic. All right, number 15, Annalise Mingarelli serving for the Tigers. Spike by Sir Jotty is dug out. Rebound spike by Nolan. Wow. Oh that was, my gosh, that was a bad call from the line post. That, that was definitely wow. inbounds. That was so inbounds. All right, Joseph. Wait, she called it out of. No, she called it inbounds, I think it's. Oh, my bad, my bad, right, my bad. Um, great spike right there. You know, game respects game. We have to shout out Lick when, uh, when do. But the Cubs lead 13 to yeah, 5. Yeah, shout out Lick. Psych. <laughs> Said nobody ever. <laughs> Said nobody ever. All right, Jensen Johnny. Oh, great spike. Great dig by uh, Young. The Tigers cannot, if they can't get it back over the net, there's no way they're going to win this. There's no way. All right, uh, number five, uh, Abeta is checking in for number 15, Mangarelli, on the Tigers' side. And uh, you know what? I think it's time for some uh, Kaya Ko Konigsberg is going to the line. I think it's Konigsberg. I don't know, but she's serving. Dimed it up. Oh, yep, that's going to be a point for Con, but I don't care if I can't pronounce her last name. I, I mean, I apologize, but she is a great server, man. Yes. Amazing, exquisite. Convent Cubs are balling out right now. Serve number two from her is up. It's bumped by Young, and again, the spike by Nolan. Ooh. That one had way too much mustard on it. <laughs> way too much mustard, even a little bit of relish. That one went into like, I don't know, we're, we're at Herb Center right now. That, that might have even gone to the Pine Octavia campus. <laughs> Maybe so even out. Uni's campus. <laughs> Maybe. What are they doing uh, over there? Comet leads 16 to five. <laughs> There's so much hot dog on it. Oh, that served. Ooh. Hey, I think uh, number seven, Kaya Ko Niceberg, May have heard us say a little too much relish, and she decided to throw it on her serve, and that one went soaring. She just threw a straight catch up on that one. I mean, we gotta we gotta respect it. You know, she just had a couple good serves, but that one yeah, that one had too much on it. Now, number fourteen, Lila Cummings is going to be serving for the Tigers as they trail by ten <laughs> in the last set. Yep. Wow. Ooh, dude. Bad day to be a Tiger. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> yep. Oh my oh. goodness! This is unfair. This is unfair. There's nothing they can do. Great 17 fight. to 6 is never a good thing to hear. Ooh. Achoo. Achoo. Want to know what I'm sneezing over? <laughs> By all the dust that these brooms are kicking up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Smells like a sweep to me. Served by Sir Jotty. Dug out by number 14, Lila Cummings. But it went right into the net and onto the ground. Convent leads 18 to 6. This one, 
I, I feel like I'm getting deja vu. This is like the first set, is it not? I'm getting deja, deja, deja vu. Wow. <laughs> Just because Convent beats licking everything. Boom. And so does Stuart Hall. We actually won. Uh, all right, well, that, that serve had a little too much mustard, you know. We'll count for it. Uh, Convent leads 18 to 7. Little shout out though, uh, Stuart Hall Knights baseball last year went nine and one in one league. Just a quick shout out, they beat Lick. Uh, I think Handling. the score was 22 to two the first time Ouch. we played. God. A little closer, we'll give Lick credit. A little bit closer God. the second time, but you know, the Knights brought home the W both times. Did Lick build their own baseball bats? Uh, no, but they <laughs> sucked. Uh, score is now 19 to seven. Cubs, oh no, it's Shelby Low time. It's Shelby Low. Let's see if she can put Is this one Is it Dame away. time or Shelby Low time? Boom. Oh, she serves it over. Bumped up. Spike by Jordan. Yeah! Finally, yeah. Denied. Denied. Phone call. Denied. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Uh, Whoop-dee. Whoop-dee. <laughs> call him CJ. All right. Cubs lead 20 to 7. Serve is up, bumped by a beta. Oh, great tip by there by uh, Noel Wynn. That was pretty sneaky. It was almost, you could say, Donnelly Yap esque. Can I say? You could very well say that. She pretended to set it and she tipped it over. It was a success for the Tigers. The That's all I can say. Uh, uh, looks like a little substitution's going on. What the? Hey, come on. Sportsmanship. Alrighty. Lick Tigers just tried to pull a sneaky one right there. Mm. They were pretending to substitute so the Cubs wouldn't look, and they served it anyways. <laughs> but good thing Mr. Referee sniffed it out. He's like, nah, uh not in my watch. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I'm going to take my mask off only for the picture. Oh. It wasn't off. Oh, put it on for the picture. <laughs> Never been big on the mask myself. <laughs> I'll still, I'll do it. Joseph Shea, fun fact, actually got COVID last year. Mm. <laughs> it's a beta topic. <laughs> Alrighty, serve by number nine, Noel Wynn. Good one. Yeah, oh, Benjamin or Calvin with a good hit there. Oh, miscommunication. That's the name of the game right now for the Tigers. The name of the game. That was an easy one. You and know what the name of the game is for the Cubs right now? W winning, winning dubs, dude. Setter. I, think, I, I mean, I hear it very like only a little bit, but I think I hear DJ College saying, All I do is win. No There's matter what, a little what. broom. I think they might might go for the three P right here and just sweep them on this set. I'd be embarrassed to be a tiger today, honestly. Yeah, okay. Spike by number four, Kate Warden. I'm a broken record. I'm a Calvin slammed it down. Not a chance. Convent leads 22 to 8. I think this one's as good as, as over. I wouldn't number say Number four, yeah. Kate Warden checks out for number 16, Sonia Chun for the Tigers. It's too little too late. It's too little too late. Cubs are up 22 to 8. Up two sets. This this one's over. Oh, I jinxed it. <laughs> I think Donnelly Yap may have heard me say that and then she hit it into the net, just to make sure that we weren't too biased. Yes, exactly. Like, she could have hit it over easily, but she was just like, man, don't be disrespectful. So she I was apologize. like, I need to give them a chance. Yeah. She doesn't want them to start crying. Come She's on. like, they're suffering. Whoa. What? That's fine. We're neutral. We're just pointing out the facts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Tigers, two points in a row. First time in a while I've said that one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, the scoreboard yeah. said 10, and I thought it said zero. I wasn't even surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia Chun serving for the Tigers as they trail 10 to 22. Great serve there. Wow. Jensen Jotty just hit that one into no man's land, but on her own side, unfortunately. <laughs> um, hey, shout out. I am standing next to the Stuart Hall student body president, and that is the Convent High School student body president. It's a powerhouse. powerhouse. It's a juggernaut, to say the least. Yeah. Big shout out to Common Stewart Hall Student Council. I'm telling you, for the Knights, they had a senior sweep. Every student council spot was taken by a senior. You know, big shout out. I and think we that's ran together, too. We ran together on a ticket. Uh, I'm the operations officer. Oh, I see Tony Farrell. Mr. Tony Farrell's, Farrell's in the house. Tony Farrell's in the house. Okay. This is number 20, 
Tala El Kada is serving to put this one away for the Cubs. Ooh, great spike there by number 14, Lila Cummings. Ooh, and then she goes up and blocks number 12, nope, not number 12, number 21, Grace Warner's attempted spike. Cubs lead 23 to 12. Number 13, Kitty Fleming is serving for the Tigers. Oh, that one was a knuckleball. Ooh. That one was a knuckleball. That, that one did knuckleball. not move at all. The Shelby Lowe saw from a mile away and hit the back, back of it and out of bounds. That one was pretty close to being in bounds. Great call by the referee. It was out. Cubs lead 24 to 12. Joe, I smell it. What's that scent? Game point. Game <laughs> point. Hey, I, wait, wait till after the game. She's about to win it. Oh, I jinxed it. All right, Calvin hits it out of bounds. All right, sports rep from Stuart Hall, David Ross, has a question for me. Let's hear it. Mr. Novoshen, what are the Cubs eating tonight? All right, the Cubs are looking a lot like Jameis Winston last Sunday. They are eating a big, hey, give me, actually, wait, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll do this after the game. I'll get, we'll get the camera on us. They're eating a W. I'm spoiling it. Oh, and there it is. That's our, okay, Nicholas, give us some camera. David, ask me that question one more time. What are the Cubs eating tonight? The Cubs are eating what Jameis Winston, the GOAT, ate last Wednesday, or last Sunday. A big, fat W. Yes, sir. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, this is Zeke Novishin and Joseph Shea. Joseph Shea. Stuart Hall Seniors, and we had a great time broadcasting tonight. Last shout out, oh, Mr. Farrell, special. Uh, all right, this is the Stuart Hall principal. Post game interview, how do you think the Cubs did tonight? I thought they had an outstanding effort. Obviously that second game gave us all some doubts, one. but they closed with close the 7-0 run. It was very impressive. Very. You gotta like the composure. I think when oh, you yeah. and Joe were talking about what's going on in the timeout, it's just about regaining your composure. Oh yeah. Remembering what brought you there. Of course. Remembering just the endless practice repetitions. Oh yeah. These girls are training. This does not happen overnight. This doesn't happen overnight. And I think they also just never stop believing. I think the, the, the never winners. Never stop believing? The gonna... winner keeps thinking we're going to win. Never stop believing. I love that one. They're looking for found blessings, if you will. Want to know my favorite set. motto in this one? Hard work pays off. These girls are balling day in, day out. And it and, look at them, and they're putting the work in right now. In fact, some of us should be going down and helping them with those chairs because they some should of not us, have put in that effort. Not the broadcast crew. Oh, I, that. What, what do you think the service hours are for? What do you, for this, broadcasting. This team is, is hey, winning you see this? and We still up. have 38 viewers, and the game is but over. But one of those is me. <laughs> and 37 of them phone. aren't you. Okay. That's a good point. That's Thank you point. for tuning in. I had a great night. Uh, Zeke Novich. Thanks everyone and Tony for tuning Farrell. in. Very Make sure happy that you here. come to Keysar at 2 p.m. tomorrow to watch the nights. Take down Woodside Priory. The Panthers. Football. Woodside Priory Panthers. The Panthers. Panthers. It's like Friday Night Lights, the Dylan Panthers. Saturday night afternoon. Saturday night afternoon on the weekend. On the weekend. The day before <laughs> Sunday. Or Saturday afternoon sun. Okay, I'm going to cut it out. Yes. Great job, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Have a great night. Good job. Good work. That was a good you one. Guys are so funny. That was a good one. <laughs> the number of times, because I'm driving. So I can just.